This has to be the best 6-7 ISO lock in the game. Look at that. Breaking ankles. Pulling up. Splashing in his mouth. Cooking up. Speed boosting. Pull up. Bang. And boom. Look at that, man. Off the glass, man. Bow. 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 Mmm. Splashing in his mouth. Hey, man, we on the road to 1K, man. Stay tuned for this build, man. It's the best build in the game. Let's go. What is going on, YouTube, man? It is your boy, Dirty, man. And today, we're going to be bringing you the best 6-7 ISO lock in the game, man. If y'all ain't know, last year, I was killing it in the 1v1 course with my 6-7, bro. 6-7 was insane. The only mistake I made was no dunk, but this year we fixed that, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, this build is gonna be very, very good. I know that 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 6 guards are the wave this year, but I can't do no small guards. I can't have no defense. I play the ones a lot, and I really just, I gotta have a tall build. If you don't have a tall build, fuck you. Nah, I'm just playing, but dead ass. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this build. I'm gonna make it pretty quick for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'll show y'all some gameplay. I know y'all probably seen the gameplay from yesterday. And if y'all didn't check out the video from yesterday, y'all can go ahead and check it out. This is my first few games with this build. Now, don't get it twisted. I was playing pretty booty with this build at first, but now we way better. We got way better animations, way better jump shot, you know. I'm getting a feel for this game, getting used to it, but yeah, yesterday's video was the first few games I played of ranked, and yeah, y'all could go check that out. But anyways, let's get right into this build. First off, position, shooting guard. You could go with small forward or point guard. I think you could go with small forward. You could definitely go with point guard, though. I want a shooting guard, but just in case I play like rec or anything, I don't want to be put at the point guard position. I do want to be more at a shooting guard because I'm not going to have high pass accuracy. This is not like a pro-am type of build, but if you do, you could run at like small forward shooting guard. Anyways, height 6'7", weight 192. And keep in mind, also, y'all can mess with this build as much as you want. This is going to be a very good template for you to like build around. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a few other options that you guys could do with this build, too. You know, to whatever fits your play style, because you know, everything is personal preference. I never recommend copying any YouTuber. It don't matter if it's Joe knows, I seen no any of them. Always kind of use it as a template. Whatever they post, whatever you see here, use it as a template and fit it to your liking. Anyway, so weight 192, wingspan seven foot. So first off, we got 72 close shot. It kind of just goes up automatically. We have an 80 driving layup. That's going to be perfect. Good enough. You're going to be able to get physical finisher on silver, aerial wizard on gold, flow game silver, layup, mix master, you know. 80 is solid. 80 is good. <clears throat> you get some decent animations. And I believe at 82, you get even more animations. Hold on, bro. Why my build fucked up? What happened to my stats? Also, too, y'all can pick any hand in this you want. Doesn't matter. But I went right this year. I usually go with left, though, because left, you know what I'm saying? You shoot better. Anyways, yeah, so let's get into this. So we got a 72 close shot, 80 driving layup. The 80 driving layup, like I said, it's going to have, you know, those badges. And you'll be able to get some animations if you do put the plus two cap breaker on it. I'm not going to do that because I don't really care. The animations are decent enough at 80. But anyways, then we got a 55 driving dunk. And that's so you can get the CJ and you can also get the Clay Thompson dunk package which is really all you need i'm not the type to try to go for contact and stuff but if you like that you know what i'm saying y'all can mess with the build and do whatever you want to make it you know get some higher driving dunk i don't know but i don't really need that post control goes up automatically standing dunk we also have an 87 mid-range so you're gonna get silver dead eye silver set shot specialist damn you're gonna get silver dead eye silver set shot and silver shifty shooter now if you want to lower your wingspan by one inch so that when you put the plus five cap breaker on you could get gold dead eye you can do that but me personally i went with seven feet because when it's longer better defense and also too i got other stuff i want to use my cat breakers on you know what i'm saying so i'm not really too focused about that you can always put the max badge whatever thing to up it to gold anyways also what i forgot to mention real quick while making this video i'm also probably gonna put plus four cat breakers not plus five plus four so that i'm able to get gold uh shifty shooter and gold uh set shot then we got an 83 three-pointer you know what i'm saying had to go with 83 to get that bronze limitless and keep in mind limitless activates very close to the three-point line not right on it but it activates pretty much almost every time i shoot a three so obviously this badge helps a lot you're definitely i would definitely recommend it if you want to you know lower it you can but come on man 62 free throw not really gonna be playing you know prone and stuff pass accuracy we went with a 71 just in case i do play with people on the twos or the threes court or rec whatever i have silver dimer i have silver dimer because you know that if you pass your teammates and are wide open and they miss they're gonna be like oh your diamonds on silver whatever bro you don't want them to have no excuses bro come on man or you just stop playing with bums. Anyways, now we got an 87 ball handle, man. We're gonna get silver ankle assassin. Y'all saw me yesterday breaking ankles already with only bronze, by the way. And we're gonna get silver handles for days. And if you wanna put three cap breakers on it, you could get um gold. Then we got gold strong handle. And, and we don't know too much about this badge yet, but look what it says. It reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I need that. And we get silver unpluckable. Now we got an 83 speed with ball. And this year's speed with ball does help you with launches and like speed boosting and stuff. So it actually is important this year. I know last year's, but we're going to get silver lightning launch. And this is what I'm going to use my max badge on. And we're going to have gold lightning launch at 6'7". 
Come on, man. Now we have a 79 interior. I always add interior, especially because I play the ones. Even when I play the twos and threes, I hate getting scored on in the paint. I hate when players make these BS layups, bro. So I gotta have some decent interior on there. Trust me, 79 is decent enough. I did sacrifice some uh, block and interior defense so I could get the higher mid-range, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you could adjust this how you like. You could lower the interior defense if you don't care about it, lower the block. You can add it towards your ball handle, your your three-point, your drive and dunk layup, whatever you wanna do, you know, make it fit you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we do get Hall of Fame off-ball pass and we get a 92 perimeter defense, 92. And guess what? You put plus five on here, this is where my first plus five cap breakers are going, by the way, which you do hit that starter one, which is you can hit that within a week or two and you will get Hall of Fame Challenger, Hall of Fame On Ball Menace, Hall of Fame Pick Dodger. Can you ask for any more than that? Can you ask for any more than that? Three Hall of Fame badges? Come on, bro. And then I don't know how it works, but if you could put plus five to get, let's say, Hall of Fame uh, On Ball Menace, right? And then if you put the max badge upgrade or whatever the hell that thing is that you get at level 30 on a Hall of Fame badge, it will go to Legend. You're gonna have legend on ball menace or challenger or pick dodger if you want i think now we don't know you know what i'm saying maybe someone knows i don't know but i'm guessing if you put plus five on there it'll raise up the badge and then you put the you know what i'm saying this it should work like that if it doesn't work like that 2k sold now we have a 79 steel i know people love this steel this is where people are gonna be like man it's the bill's track 79 steel but you do get silver glove silver interceptor and if you do want to raise it like i said i love having block on my bills every single year i make a tall build i love having block i play a lot of ones I hate getting scored on in the paint. I love having block. So you can lower the block, put it towards your steel, or lower interior, put it towards the steel, whatever you want to do. But this is how I like to play. I don't need a high steel. I don't go for steals too often anyways. I'd rather just box you up and then make you force a trash shot. And then I have all these Hall of Fame badges to help me do that. But anyways, now we got 80 block. We're going to get high fire denier on silver, paint protector on bronze, and pogo stick on bronze. And keep in mind, Oh, not paint protector, my bad. Paint patroller. Keep in mind, bronze badges do help a lot, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Last year, I had bronze anchor, and I was going crazy on the blocks. Uh, 60 defensive rebound. You get the bronze rebound badges, I guess. Now we got a 78 speed. I didn't go with too high of a speed because I'm not worried about running up and down the court. You know what I'm saying? Speed this year only affects how fast you run with the ball off the court. I'm tripping. <laughs> nah, but speed only affects how fast you run without the ball on the court. Now we got agility, 85. That's going to help you get these uh, Hall of Fame badges, by the way, and these, and these badges right here. If you do not have it at at least an 84, I believe. Nope. You got to have it at 85 to get the gold pick dodger too, which, you know, like I said, we'll go to Hall of Fame. You can put the cat breakers on it. So you're going to need that. And also too, if you guys didn't know, agility this year does affect how quick you move laterally. So it's very, very important on defense. Then we got a 73 strength. This 73 strength is going to get us the silver physical finisher and the gold strong handle, which, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on now. You know, you get the immovable enforcer too. You know what I'm saying? Then we went with a 74 vertical. And that was just to get um like high flying denier, stuff like that on silver. And pogo stick on all these badges right here but yeah like i said you guys can change this to however you want to make it fit your play style this is what i'm going to be using probably the whole year unless you know i start i want to make like some other builds just for fun or whatever but for now this build you can't go wrong with this build this build can't get patched they're not going to make it to where a 83 three-pointer a 80 driving layup a 87 ball handle hall of fame defensive badges 92 perimeter and 80 block is going to get patched when you're six like it's, it's not going to happen so this build will be safe. I promise you it'll be safe. I'm not saying it's going to be the meta for the whole year. And there's not going to be some crazy build that just every single person is using. You know what I'm saying? But this will last. Derek White, Manu Ginobili, and Tyler Hero. I don't like the sound of those. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be any of them. Maybe besides Ginobili. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all let me know if y'all make this build, man. Edit it to your liking or, you know, make it just like me. Either way. And be prepared because I will be going live soon. And I will be looking for people to play with, man. So... You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, you know, tune into one of their lives. I don't know if I'm streaming on YouTube or on Twitch yet, but either way, follow my Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube so you have notice on for both and you'll see whichever one I go live on. But anyways, I'll catch y'all, man. I'm out.